All right, bravo, Matthew. That'll warm the heart after a warm day. In fact, a day of near record heat. Temperatures more April-like. We actually officially made it to 82. Just missed the record by a degree. Uh, we'll be pretty close there again tomorrow. But even now, uh, with the sun having set, most of us still above the 70 degree mark. Look at Orange Park on the river there, still 76 degrees. Now, unlike last night, where there were a few showers over South Georgia, we don't have any showers tonight. This is anomalous propagation. That means it's not actually precipitation, but it is a signature, if you do some radar analysis, that there is some even warmer air, if you can believe it, above the cool air at the surface. And because the air is so moist, that is the temperatures are close to the dew point, some fog will be forming. I also want to add there were some controlled burns today south of Middleburg, northwest of Middleburg, and then near St. Mary's. A light breeze out of the west. I'm bringing that up because that smoke is going to settle to the surface and combine with the fog. And those are some areas where uh, we're especially concerned about visibil visibilities. Now, this is a computer model of what's going to happen. Doesn't mean it exactly will happen, but watch as the uh, these are distances and visibility. That's a tenth of a mile by 2.30 in the morning. Even at the airport, watch how low the airport gets. Uh, pretty close to near zero as we head toward dawn. Could be some delays there before, like today, the fog does break up and we see some sunshine. Enough sun so that out around the beaches, look for a high of 80 degrees because notice the wind. Southwest means from the southwest. That means even the beaches will make it to 80 degrees. We could see another day back up to about 82. I wouldn't be surprised if some spots, especially over St. John's and Flagler, make it to 84. Great news for the warm weather lovers. But what about those of you that just have to have cold weather for Christmas? Well, notice what's happening here on Christmas Eve. This very strong polar front will be knocking at the door, and that means by Christmas Day winds blowing out of the North Pole and cold temperatures blowing in.